Um, there, uh, there's lots to talk about the efficacy of statins. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a very controversial area and has been for many years. Your, your, your cholesterol, you've got basically two, I'm going to do this very simply, two types of cholesterol, good and bad. And with, with the bad cholesterol, when, it, when it's raised, we treat that with drugs called statins to bring the bad cholesterol down. Now, the, the, the latest evidence shows that reducing bad cholesterol fails to reduce heart disease deaths in the over 60s. Now, the experts are, are questioning whether statins uh, are, are really as effective as they claimed, and they're saying the research is fundamentally flawed. Now, this has gone on for quite a while. Only a couple of weeks ago, yeah, the British Medical Journal and the other eminent English journal, The Lancet, giving two different views on the use of statins in controlling cholesterol. Um, a lot of patients actually stop taking the statins because you don't feel any physical or mental benefit from taking them. They're there to keep your cholesterol mm -hmm. down. And some patients get muscle pains and can affect the memory. Now, having said all that, I'm on a statin because I had a high cholesterol and I take a statin at as low a dose uh, as possible that controls the cholesterol. Right. So Getting if you're on a statin, right. you know, do not stop taking it, discuss it with your doctor. The, 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 well, the, that's the trouble. You see, you see a headline like I that and then, you, and then you think, well, yeah. well, I better not take them then. Yeah. See, I mean, that's why we're doing this. We're getting behind the headlines because these headlines, people see it and they, they think that's truth. You've got to look into it, look into the studies and the research. People can't do this. So, you know, if you're on a statin, you take it. But the interesting aspect of this now is the, the health watchdog, NICE, is, is actually recommending that all adults with a 10% risk of a heart attack in the next 10 years should be on statins. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about 17 million people who are healthy but at low risk of heart attack should be taking them anyhow. Mm -hmm.